huh? Hold on, I have all this cord for the microphone. Why don't you come stand over here? It's not so cold. I wonder how long this will last. He usually starts being a little baby. You know, like his feet getting cold. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, buddy, we're just gonna go for a little walk here. I got this, I'm gonna put this cord in my pocket. Hold on a sec, sorry guys. This needs to be a quick, I'm gonna do a quick intro. And I figure if I did it outside in the cold, hey, where are you going? Right there. I figure I did it outside in the cold. Um, maybe I wouldn't talk so much. <laughs> Get it done with quicker. All right, pick up my gloves. Hold on a sec. All right, you wanna go for a little walk, bud? Let's go for a little walk. You like going for a walk, don't you? Look at him, he's so happy. How come you're not complaining about your feet being cold now? Just wanna show you, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but this guy's got this like purple hue to it. And there's a deafening silence. There's supposed to be a storm coming in. I was actually gonna head to town and go to the gym. That would have been really nice four days in a row of working out, but the storm's coming. And I have to go to town tomorrow for a doctor's appointment. So I figured I'd just chillax. I really want to hit, hit those woods at some point. Is somebody having a holiday Charlie Crunchmas? Lord, I just wanted to go to the gym and look at this crop. Look at this crop. What do you think, buddy? What do you think, buddy? What do you think? No, kitty. You can go there. Oh my goodness. It's really pretty though. Interferes with the plants a little bit. Wow, it's really coming down. Just chillax. I really want to hit hit those woods at some point. Maybe it's a little warmer. Uh, the guy that owns this land over here told me I could. Um, nice guy. Let's just walk down the road for a little bit. What do you think? Talk to my uh, subscribers for a minute. Yeah? Anyways. Um, oh, I forgot to put the other glove on. I don't know why I forgot to put the other glove on. Hold on. Much better. Much better. All right. So anyways, um, episode 30. Can you believe that? Actually, I think it's been more than 30 episodes, but I've actually, you know, counted out 30 episodes. And I've been trying to put them out one a week, minimum. Sometimes I get a little more than one a week. But uh, now that it's cold, it is, uh, what is it, 18 degrees out right now? It's just too cold to work in the shop. So, I think it's supposed to warm up on... Wednesday and Thursday, but that's Thanksgiving. So I don't know how much. Oh, actually the wife has to work on Thanksgiving. So I might actually be working in the shop on Thanksgiving. What do you think, buddy? Where's all the cows? Where'd the cows go? So quiet. I mean, it's, the storm is coming. You can just tell. Hey, we're not going too far because I didn't bring... Um, I didn't bring my weapon with me, so. And uh, it's getting dark, so we're not going too far, buddy. Hey, hey, stay with me. Hey, slow down. Slow down. So episode 30, kind of a celebratory uh, episode, right? 30 episodes, that's so awesome. And um, I have more than, uh, what do I have, 430? As, as of this moment, I have 436 subscribers. Started out with like <laughs> uh, six. So I feel really blessed that I have that many. And I know people like Joe probably laughing at me. That I think it's pretty cool. And I, I really believe that we have uh, 
we have good quality TV and I want to keep giving it, you know, good quality TV out there. So remember that was from the tornado. In fact, in this episode, um, we actually survived the last tornado of the year, but then more storms were coming. So we decided that it wasn't safe in the double wide. <laughs> so, uh, or uh, yeah, no basement, no storm shelter. So we would, uh, we didn't want to push God's luck three times. He saved us twice. Didn't want to go for a third time's the charm type thing. So we took off. And you actually see it in the video. You can see the wind is, oh my goodness, that day the wind was so bad. Beautiful sun though. But the storms came later that night. That's the thing about Minnesota and North Dakota, right? The winds are just crazy here. I'm just not used to it. Or if you saw in the beginning of my series, I thought I was used to it because I thought it was just wind, you know? But then suddenly the wind became um, tornado season. I didn't even know you had tornadoes up here. This does not look like tornado land to me. That kind of runs in Kansas though, over there. Hey, bud, I think we're gonna turn around now. Come on, let's turn around now. Come on. You coming? Come on. Are we having fun? Are we having fun? Come on. Let's head back. They go for walks, don't you, bud? And you can stop making fun of me now. That's the wife picked out that sweater jacket thing for him. I like it because it makes him look like the Grinch's dog. I think it's hilarious. But, uh, yeah, you can see his hair is growing out a little bit longer than normal. Usually it gets cut once a month. Now we're back, now we're going up to every two months, so. He doesn't like it though. He'll start biting himself a lot, you know? What you, what you smell over there? Yeah, you need snowshoes, bro. Stay out of the deep stuff. Ah, oh, beautiful, right? It's so pretty. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyways, um, so episode 30 is about doing more staining and more vinyl, basically. In fact, I wanted to end the video after the staining was done, but then I decided to go ahead and finish out the vinyl section uh, in the video. So I'm editing that right now and I wanted to do a quick interview um, and get this uploaded. So that'd be two this week I, I try to do. So it'd be nice to get caught up soon. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to get caught up because I can't work in the shop. It's that little walk right now, I'm, I'm freezing. So yeah, it's just too cold. But it is episode 30. Are you okay? You okay? You limping? Let me know when you want me to carry you. You all right? As soon as he starts limping, I usually pick him up because his, his feet get too cold. His tiny little feet. You got little man syndrome over here. You're trying to go pee over there, aren't you? You want to pee over there, don't you? You hear all the noises he's making? He's complaining. He wants to spray everywhere and he can't because the snow's too deep. Hey, I'll make you a little path right here, buddy. Come here. Come here. There you go. Look. I made you a little path right there. Come here. There you go. Now you can pee. You gonna pee? Go potty. Got to be in a certain spot. Smelling all kinds of animals, aren't you? Stay here. There's a car coming. Hey, stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay right here. There's a car coming. Stay, Bubba. Good boy. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, it's a little cold for it, but 
don't he, have a sweater on her either, huh? Oh, he's got a sweater on. Come oh, here. Okay. Come here. Come here over here. Hello. Come here, Alfie. You want to say hi? Uh, see? I, I imagine she's really spoiled. Oh, yeah. That's mommy's baby right here. Have you got any cats? <laughs> yeah, and they, they, they're best friends. Oh, yeah. They're best friends. Did it work on your house here? Is it better to hit? Um, so far so good. No, it ain't been cold yet. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Well, it's been icky. It's been pretty. It's pretty pretty nasty, but not not the negative twenty yet. You had any mice at your house? Oh my lord, they've. I feel like it's like a well, we got three, demon horde. We got three cats, and we've caught a bunch of ten of them in traps now. Do you do you want me to tell you how many I've caught so far? <laughs> Almost thirty. <laughs> And the neighbor up here, he's caught, he's caught 10 out of those bedboard nuts. No, he's caught he way over 32. He, he puts about ties 10 traps together, and then they're, they're outside in the shed. Yeah, we've never had a mice like this. Yeah, I, I don't remember being this bad last year. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Well, Have a good day. Yeah. <sighs> Watch out, buddy. Oh. So what do you think, bud? You coming? Come on. Come on. Hey, let me fix your jacket. Come here. Come here. All right. Edit all that out. Don't see the neighbors very much, so when you do see them, you got to be friendly. You know what I'm saying? You got to be nice. They're good people anyways. That's the people that own this land over here that I want to do some camping on their property. Uh, anyways, so yeah, let me finish this up real quick. It's getting really cold. Um, so episode 30, okay, do a little, uh, giveaway promotion thing, I think. Um, should I just say giveaway donation thing? Shout out to, uh, Jesse James, who, uh, um, donated, first person to donate through PayPal. It's a greatly appreciated I uh, the whole point of this guys is I need a GoPro that's the next purchase for this camper build I mean I know I need windows and doors and things like that but we'll get there but in the meantime I'm having problems with the video camera and things like that I need to I need to step it up to step up my game my video game and get the GoPro so this is the fun that's going to be for the GoPro. Um, you want to go in here? Get your feet warm? Huh? Come on. Go ahead. Oh, oh, jeez, oh, buddy. Jeez, buddy. You okay? There you go. Come up here. Come up here. It's warm. There you go. There's a blanket right there. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Anyways, um, are you going to make a lot of noise? Because if you're going to make a lot of noise, you're going to have to go in the house. Okay? I got work to do here, bud. Everything's not about you. Even though you think it is. I'm trying to decide if I should take you inside or not. You're going to make so much noise. But yeah, let's take you inside. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Good boy. I'm going to let him get warmed up inside. Okay, guys, so the promo is going to be these are the first books in each of the series. Okay. Um, they both, both series won awards. Um, yeah. It's really, I've told you this before, it's really hard to make, um, make it as an author today. I mean, you'll starve. But once you get that best-selling list, you're golden. And then comes the movies, rights, and things like that. And, and both these series will make really good movies. I also wrote. I also wrote. I also wrote a Star Wars novel. Um, that can be given away for donations. But I just got to be careful about the the legal part of that because I want that to become a licensed product of um, Lucas slash Disney. So I'm working on that. Um, also, if that one takes off, that's another one that's going to put me over the top. So at that point, I'll be uh, buying a camper 
and not making one <laughs> unless I just do this for fun. But this is uh, the camper and the editing of the film is taking up all my writing time. So I don't have time to write. Uh, these books are at Barnes and Nobles, Amazon, all them good guys. But listen, I'll tell you what, for episode 30, actually, if you go to episode 30 and you go to tarichards2.com, that's my website. And keep in mind that I couldn't afford to keep on my marketing team. So it hasn't been updated in a while and it needs to be updated. My website is pretty slacking. Um... My dog's just barking at me. I guess I should have shut the door on him more. <laughs> he doesn't want to be left inside. Uh, I'm trying to talk fast because it's cold and everything. So what was I going to say? Oh, so if you go there, I will, if you want to buy it that way, if you want to buy it through my website, um, if you buy it through my website, I'll give you uh, a discount. The coupon code will be TAR2, all caps, uh, my initials, and I'll put that in. You'll see that in the video. Um, put that in the discount code, and it'll give you uh, a pretty good percentage. I got to see what the percentage can be because um, after I pay for shipping, I forgot how it works. Maybe you guys pay for. I don't know, but anyways, I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't make me any very much money. And that's what I was talking about. Ten thousand books a day are published in America alone, every day. So it's, it's a hard market to break. And so I'm using YouTube as well as my brand. This was suggested by marketing people a while back when I could afford marketers. But when I took that hit from the VA, I still have my benefits, but I was actually getting an extra additional, um, an additional amount of money that they told me I'd get for the rest of my life because I'm so messed up and I need more surgery, blah, blah, blah. But they ended up taking it from me. Um, I don't know if they ran out of money or if it just went away or what, but it's gone. It's, and it's not regular. It's not the regular VA money. So, you know, there's no oversight and there's no, um, you can appeal it, but it got, you know, got shot right down right away. There's no one in charge of it really. So I got, uh, I got uh, crapped. How should I say this? Crapped over, screwed over on that one. Um, so it kind of like just changed everything for me as far as, you know, I had to let my marketing people go. Had to rethink everything. Um, but anyway, so we're recovering from that. In the meantime, I need to make that best selling list as well. So, but for you guys, for episode 30, that's a long, that was a long trail to get all the way to the explanation. Geez, sorry guys. I am a talker. Maybe I talk too much. Anyways, so... Yep. So I'll give you a discount if you go, if you go through my website. I can't give you a discount if you go through Barnes & Nobles. Uh, they have their own discount system. I can't give you a discount if you go through Amazon or Google Books. Um, the uh, Kindle versions, I mean, all the, the e-reading stuff, that, that it's so cheap anyways. Um, make pennies on the dollar on that anyways. But hardcover ones I can give you a discount on. Now here's the deal. For episode 30... Anybody that wants to donate uh, PayPal through the link on my YouTube channel, you click on it, and um, donate. Uh, there has to be a minimum though, because I, I'm gonna, if I'm going to ship these, it's going to it's going to cost me money, and then I'll also autograph it. Um, I'll put a nice. Let's see. I can't open up my gloves on. I won't mess up the maps or anything. I'll take my glove off. I won't mess up the maps. Um, but I'll put a little message in here for you. Maybe right here. Put a message in here for you. Or wherever you want to. This can be a Christmas gift, right? You know somebody that likes Lord of the Rings type books? You can uh, request this one. If you know somebody that likes... Um, science fiction slash military suspense then you can go with this one uh this is the one that's gonna make a really good movie that i could see either the rock playing or somebody like gerard butler uh, as the main dude maybe even hugh hugh jackman somebody like that very strong main character um so there's three books in each series 
it's hard to say which one's my favorite because I like both for different reasons. Um, the people that uh, review and edit my books talk about how I'm a, a, I'm a very good, um, what is it called, character development. I have a lot of different diverse characters in my books. So, that being said, if you donate through my site, but I think I have to put a limit on it. I mean, it's got to be a minimum of um, $20. And I hate to say that, but I'm going to mail it out priority because that's how I mail things out. So they have a tracking number. And I know minimum that's seven, eight dollars. And if I'm trying to save up for a GoPro, you know, and I only have, um, I have a limited supply of these books because these are, I have some publisher's proofs, but I'm not sure if I want to give those away because at some point those will be limited editions. These are, these are what you can get right now. Um, maybe if you request a publisher's proof and donate a bit, quite a bit more money, then maybe I can give you one. But anybody that donates through the PayPal will get an autographed copy personalized to them, whoever they want it personalized to. This would be a great uh, Christmas present. Man, I'm like freezing right now. I gotta get inside. Thanks guys for watching. Um, thanks for being a part of my adventure. So the camera's on this side. Why is this, why is this hand making everything so dark? There you go. Get the books in the background. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at this. There's the books. And there's the website. So if you want, stand like this. So if you want, man, I gotta tell you guys, it, it sucks getting old when you gotta wear glasses that have two different like bifocals. Like I can't, so you always gotta, oh, I can't see. Oh, I, people always do that. I can't. Oh my gosh, I can't see. Anyways, but can you guys see that? If you go to the website, which is backwards right now, why is it, why is it auto focusing going crazy? Anyways, I'm done. I'm irritated. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate you guys following my, how many times am I going to say guys? I always do that. I always pick one word and say it like a thousand times. Sorry about that. But thank you all for following me. It's been one heck of a journey. We're going, getting up to a year, maybe in a year, uh, we'll have a, some type of shindig. <laughs> a shindig out in Minnesota. And uh, thank you all for your love and support. You get a lot of comments and a, and a lot of encouragement. There, there are some trolls, and I usually step on those guys pretty quick. I don't want to block anybody, but if I have to, I will. Um, guys can be, you know, you guys know, the armchair warriors that sit at home and do nothing but just go around and poke at people's work. And that's not cool. I don't like bullies. And um, be glad to talk to anybody face-to-face -face if, they, if they want to ridicule, ridicule me. I can take it. I ain't got a problem with that, but do it to my face. Don't do it behind the, behind the comfort of your screen and where you're, you know, ooh, I'm so smart, you know. So one guy was like, um, what did he say? He said, let's get one thing straight. I am a master carpenter and I'm not going to learn anything from you. And I was like, whoa, dude. I'm not trying to correct anybody or teach anybody i'm just i've said this all along haven't i this is an adventure this isn't a how-to okay now if you want to learn from me and learn from my mistakes that's cool but don't copy me do your own you know um sure use my information but but don't hold me responsible for how it turns out okay i'm, I'm responsible for what i'm building in there not you anyways guys my arms about to fall off I love you all. My nose is frozen. Again, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. Thank you for um, taking care of this old veteran. As my son says, he's a grumpy old veteran now. Um, I try not to be. But thank you guys for following me. Thank you guys for the love and support. I wish you all well. Thanksgiving's right on the corner. Please, please be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for your loved ones. And if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling lonely, and if you're feeling suicidal, please reach out. Don't hold it in. Don't keep it to yourself. People love you. People care about you. Don't do anything that they will regret, okay? Love you all. Be good to each other. Have a good night. God bless.
before we continue with more um, staining, I've got a friend coming over. Um, he's a subscriber as well. We're going to do some staining. Try to bang it all out one night, but I don't think it's going to happen. Anyways, um, before we do that, I want to hang some more vinyl. And actually, before I can even hang more vinyl, I've got to fill in the space down here. I was actually going to put a vent there, but I've decided to use a different type of vent. And I will show you those vents later. They're pretty cool. Actually, I think I've already shown them to you.
at all that. Look at all that. Look at that. Holy crap. Wow. The trees are just stripped and they're broken. Wow. Wow, as my grandson says. All right, you, we, I thought I recorded the overturned, um, oh, look at the back of their house. The siding just ripped off the side of that back of their house. Their yard is kind of thrashed too, and there's more trees down right there. Look at that. Wow. And more over here, look. Look at all that down there. You can see past Kipper's head. higher so you can see better. Look at all that down there. This is right behind the house. Again, God, thank you. I feel lucky to be alive again. I feel blessed to be alive. So we keep this over here because there's a lot more. Keep looking to see more. There's all kinds of debris all over the place. They've, they've pretty much pulled that out of the road. It's been a few days. Got a tree down over there. Oh, a bunch of trees down right there. Oh, a bunch of trees down. Look at all that. Oh, here you go. Whole oh, bunch of trees down over here. And this house. This house is thrashed. Look at that. The building's just completely almost gone. Look at all that. Wow. Wow! Grandson says, I can turn around right there. All that down. Seriously, crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, I'm gonna turn around. You guys, pause this. Jeez. I wonder if these people know that their trailer, their RV, is completely thrashed from the tornado. Oh man, you can't see because the Sun. I'm gonna have to come back the other way so you guys can see. The sun's like right in our eyes. Hold on, I'm gonna turn around. Passing more places that I just looked over. Oh, I'm missing all that. Keep passing more places that are just destroyed. And this is like right by the house. This is worse than last time. Like closer to the house than last time. Look at that. Look at that. Who's beeping at me? Look at that. Just absolutely destroyed. Yeah, I'm good. It's time to move. I ain't staying in this house on Thursday. There's supposed to be another storm coming in Thursday night. I'm not staying. Nope, ain't doing it. Ain't doing it. this program to bring you another crazy addition. What the heck is this thing? Evan. Come here. What? What the heck? 
Come here. I got it kind of tripped out right now. Dang. What is that? That is a jar bug. You need to put that in a jar and then we'll save it for later. That's cool. What is that? I've thing? seen it before. I used it for my is that own like, science project. Is that before. like the king of cockroaches or something? I have no clue. I forget, but it's a beetle. It is a beetle? Yeah. 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 Attack my dog? I, I don't think so, but like, I yeah. would put that in a jar, dude. Kimber, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> gosh! Dude! <laughs> Kimber, watch out, buddy! <laughs> Kimber! Get over here, dude! Here. Here. <laughs> you got a jar? I gotta, yeah. find, I gotta find the lid. Mm. Are you sure? Or just get a piece Here, of hold this for a sec, will you? I got, I got a lid. <laughs> it's running. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is that? What is it? Uh, probably. Bro, I've seen, like, did you see that uh, one moth that what? was in here? No. Wait. It was on my maybe. video. Maybe? It was, it looked like a bat. It was so big. Yeah, Wait, so yeah. Sure, sure. Alright, um, let's try to do this. Oh, that's funny. What's up with you and bugs? Later, see you. you know nice daddy long legs right there. Uh, they're, they're okay, they eat, yeah. they eat the spiders. You can stay. You're gonna pick it up and put it in that jar. Dude. You do it the old fashioned way, just put the jar on top of it. And I'm gonna scoop it in. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> part of my wall came down last night. Part of your wall came yeah, down? Actually, actually, All the actually, sticky actually, sticky? Yeah, this one, one section. Yeah, it's one strip. Yeah, actually. See yeah. it right there? Yeah. And, uh, fell on itself. So now it's stuck to shit, I can't use it. Oh! What? It's... <laughs> what? Right? Dang! Um... I just need to... Do you think it's like humidity, or...? I mean, I had, I had this running all night, just insane. Yeah. And I left the lights on, keep it warm in here because of the... Because of this, 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 this has to, this is proven, this has to be done soon because the cold is making that. Oh, is it the cold? I think the first thing the I'm going to ask you to do, yeah, maybe don't give you care close, I want you to go and like rub all of every, see that coming up yep. a little bit? Yep. Do it, like rub it as hard as you can with gloves on it. Okay. I have a roller too, but it works better with the hand. All right, here we go. Ready for this action? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's fighting. He ain't happy. Nope. He ain't happy. Mm -mm. They need a little piece of paper or something sticking in there. We can get away. Never. Ah, oh, look at that. Ooh. I think he's on his. I think he's on. He, what, he only has two, four legs? He's four? Is it right? four? I did it. It was see, back in like seven. Are those legs or prongs? I really pincers. It almost looks like they're sick. Oh, well, that could be part part leg, part pincer, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I guess they are part legs. It's just weird. But that's like its front. It's like its legs are in its head, like where its ears are supposed to be. Right. Or weird. Hey, you're the one that did the project on this thing. No, I didn't do it on that thing. Oh, I just collected just... bugs. Oh, okay. Froze them. Put them on a foam bar. Nice. Yeah. Looks like so Lisa, or how you gonna freak out. That is cool. <laughs> Something came in the pickle jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. That's intense. Hey. Is she here? And we didn't even fight about it this time, like, he was totally fine with it. Hello! Hi! Hi! I almost didn't recognize you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi. You're good, yeah. Did you shave or something? Uh, I don't know, probably, maybe. I don't know. That's totally different. Probably. It's getting cold. It is. I'm actually yeah. wearing back to this. Like, you see all my videos when it's 40 something degrees, I'm wearing the sweatshirt, and now I'm back wearing right. it again. Oh, yeah. It is cold, actually. I should probably put my sweatshirt on. Patriots are horrible. Go Patriots! Patriots, buddy. When is the next game? Thursday night. Ooh. Look at the cat's calling you. I know, she's not stuck on the screen. She's calling you. She knows you're home. She's, she's like the dog. Look, she's like the dog. 
Whenever, when I, when, okay, they're both on my, they're both on my recliner sitting on my lap when I come, when she comes home, I'm like, yeah. oh, mom's here. Tip her nose. He jumps up and he runs the door. Now the cat does it too. She hears her and she runs There's, the door. Oh, wow. It's really cute. That is cool. Aw, you get this. Get all that grease out of Oh. The chicken stuff's still good. I eat some more tonight. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna put it on third. Oh, nice. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Maybe I'll try it. All right, we're, we're gonna stain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. I don't know if I introduced my friend um, Evan. He's a subscriber, a friend, and also somebody that I mentor. He wants to become a, a chaplain. Um, unfortunately, he wants to become a chaplain for the Air Force. No, just kidding. It's great. I think it's awesome. It's a process. It's a lot harder than people realize to become a chaplain, and um, it does require uh, somebody who's been there that knows what they've that knows what they're doing <laughs> to help and um, he's he's going through his email right now about the process and explain to me what the um, chaplain corps told him and and I'm interpreting things for him and and telling him how to respond so um, yeah he's gonna become a chaplain um, it's a it's a long process and it's a big deal if you get accepted so it's it's you got to make it through selection and things like that so yeah Amazon deals guys well this was a fail this is a light um, halogen light setup um, 500 watt each it goes on a tripod type thing it worked um, great at first and I was really excited about it but the next day the, the bulbs were burnt out and I changed the bulbs and it still I still couldn't get it to work so ended up sending it back The reason why I'm getting the glue out is because I realized that I missed one of the round-headed plugs. So I'm going to glue that in real quick before I start staining this cabinet.
hear me over the wind. Look at the trees. They still have down, they still have de limbs hanging by threads around here. Just went through a tornado on um, Sunday. Today's Friday, and they're calling for more bad weather tonight. And the wind is like this. We keep getting gusts, I think, of at least 30 miles an hour. So, uh, I ain't staying. Uh huh. No way. No way. I just need to um, make sure these doors are locked from the wind, the rain. All right, that one's not gonna open. That's good. Let me lock this one. This one has a double lock on it, so do that. That. Man, the wind's been crazy all day, so the wife and I said, no way, not stain. Speaking of stain, look how nice that looks. Came out really nice, didn't it? I'm really happy with it. And then the only problem is, is to me these ones look no, I guess not. I guess it's just the light. In the light, they're gonna look red, but then like this one in the shadows, they look dark. See? So that's the second cabinet. Uh, went through a lot of stain to get those done. As you can see, made a mess. Um, my buddy's gonna come back and help me. We're gonna do that one next along with the fridge cabinet and along with these cabinets i'm gonna i'm gonna pull them out oh that was bright i do that every time man look how nice those walls look oh somebody's calling me let me cut this short i gotta get out of here anyways before the storm comes so all right guys talk to you later i'm not working obviously in the shop for the next two days so i'll see you on the other time i know i said i wasn't gonna record anymore but i just heard the most powerful wind go by I really wish I got it on. Oh, nice to got a little lull. I don't know if you guys can see our tree back there. It's thrashed. It's all hanging down. Um, I don't think it's in danger of hitting the house. But, uh, yeah, we're good. We ain't staying, so we'll give it another minute here. I'm sure the wind will pick up. Look at the trees in the back. Look at the way they're just bending over. See them way back there? Right here it comes. Here comes another gust. Ah, oh, that was a weak one. I mean, it feels great though. I love it. It feels really good. I just don't like want the storm that's coming right with it. Clear skies right now. Beautiful skies right now. Oh, the cows are all. Oh, even the cows are smart. Look at the cow, the cows are. If you can see them, they are way in the back, hiding in the trees. Can you see that uh, hunter's perch back there? Let's see if I can zoom in here. I can't see anything because the screen is so bright out here. Um, zoom. Is that zoom? Yep. Can you see the hunter's perch back there? That's where all the cows are chilling. They're smart, out of the wind. So, you know when uh, animals have an instinct about these things, they know what's coming. So, we're definitely not staying here. And our power always goes out for a minimum of two days. And here comes the wind again. So, we're not gonna stay. Play it safe. Go back. There we go. You know, when I grew up in Connecticut on the coast, they had a saying about the weather. The sailors did, the, the fishermen did. Here comes the wind. Look at that. Look at that over there, the tree over there, back there behind. 
Fisherman said that whenever the tree leaves are flipped upside down so you can see the whites of the tree. So in other words, whenever you see the whites of the tree leaves, a bad storm is coming. Look at that. So, it's coming. It's just, uh, time to go. Ain't not mail today. Ain't got no mail today. Oh, we had a little that bent over there too wow all right guys i want to walk to the truck head to town got the doctor's appointment anyways so we're gonna stay in a nice big hotel that's uh protected from the weather and uh i'll see you another time be good to each other love you bye Girl's my hat. Are you hanging on? Are you hanging on, buddy? Ready? Here we go. Kipper's mad at us. Oh, can't go that way. Whoops. Can't be gonna fall over. Oh. Here we go. Ready, buddy? Let's do this. Okay, hang on. Are you hanging on? Here we go. Ow, ow, my toe. Ow, my toe. I hurt my toe. Look at you, you're such a big guy driving in the cart. Huh. Huh. Look at you go. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you hanging on? Here we go. Hang on tight. Are you hanging out tight? Both hands. Both hands. <laughs> now I don't have to now I don't have to chase him. Yeah. He's entertained too. Right, buddy? <laughs> oh, don't crash, Grandpa. Don't crash. Ow, ow, I hurt my toe. Oh, I hurt my toe. Gotta push the button. Is this fun? Are you having fun? Yeah? <laughs> oh, careful. Are you trying to bang your toe like Grandpa? Oh, great. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Going down there? Are you in jail? Hang out, Grandpa, and this is what happens. You go to jail. Say, let me out. <laughs> Here's our room. I don't know if this is working. Hopefully, it's working. So I thought I already did this. Actually, I know I did this, but hold on. The recording didn't come out right, so we're going to try this again. This time we'll do it in the shop rather than outside. Probably should turn that fan off too, huh? Oh, it's perfect September weather outside. It's... um. Oh, you probably can't hear me. Oh, that's why, because you're doing it upside down, silly goose. Ah, nice new sweatshirt. I love sweatshirts. Especially soft ones. Seriously, there's nothing better than um, 
getting a new sweatshirt and being able to wall wear wallet. Lord, maybe I shouldn't do this today. <sighs> what I was trying to say was, there's nothing like getting a new sweatshirt and being able to wear that new soft, warm sweatshirt in the fall. I love fall. Fall is awesome. I love sweatshirts. All right, let me see if this will reach over there so I can turn the um, fan off. It's probably a lot better, right? Anyways, I wanted to um, show you the Home Depot supplies. So as you can see, this has been the staining section. And um, Home Depot kind of tricked me. A little bit upset about that. So Home Depot has gone away with Minwax and they've switched to Varathane. And they promised me, the employees that work there, not naming any names, but they promised me that Red chestnut and varathane was going to be exactly the same as the red chestnut in, in Minwax. And where's that can? I don't know, it must be trash. Um, it is not the same at all. Look, this is varathane. Looking kind of red. And this is the old Minwax, a red chestnut. Um, so dark, even look at the lids compared to what in the world? And um, big difference, big difference. Anyways, um, and the other one's even the other one's even darker because it was all min wax. Even the lids were min wax. Um, but they're both going. That's the overhead. So I'm hoping that. Well, I know, I know you won't be able to see him unless you actually go into the overhead. So, um, we should be all right. Made some changes on my plans anyways. Um, the wife's not a big fan of the, um, the dark colors. She wanted uh, lighter colors, so we're going to actually use uh, classic oak. And then I'm also switching to doing a, um, a stain and the poly mix. That way it's less work and I may put a, uh, a coat on top of that of the gel polyurethane. So this plus this will be, I don't know if you can see it over there, the, the bench, the, uh, also over there the, the refrigerator cabinet and some of the other furniture in the kitchen, the uh, dining room area. I think it'll look nice. You'll have, you'll have the light colors and then the dark colors, and then you'll see um, the, gr the whitewashed gray walls and the black tile floor. Uh, yeah, I think it'll look be a nice contrast. So that's this next week's project. Um, got another power strip because if you can see it over there, maybe I'll show you a picture of that in a minute. Um, got it got a light uh, from Amazon, um, two more halogen lamps on a stand. Could not believe the price. And I think the reason why is because it, it says they're supposed to be yellow <laughs> and they're completely orange. Uh, I want to, obviously yellow because I already had yellow and red. So now I have yellow, red and orange. So this is the power strip. As you guys know, I've been setting up all my electrical. Again, I don't know if you can see me, but the power strip over here has a switch and everything's connected to it so that I can turn the lights on with a switch. And same with the one behind you, I believe I showed you guys that before. So I'm gonna plug this one in over there and attach the, um, whatchamacallit, the, the lamp stand to it and then put it on the wall and have a switch. Then these, I'm actually thinking about changing the design of my shelves. Um, 
you know, I went, I went all out on those shelf brackets I made out of wood, two by twos. And they're kind of thick, they're kind of heavy, but it kind of goes with the style. And the wife was said they're kind of, they're kind of a lot. So I'm gonna, I might, I might try these. I believe the, if these will fit, these might be a little bit too long. But um, oh, we could do it like that too. Listen, we're gonna give these a try. See if they, see if they look like. I think they'll look good with the, the classic oak um, stain. So um, three each of those. And then I also got um, uh, another one of those. So three of those. That's the classic oak. And then one more red chestnut because I have to, um, I haven't decided. I might, I might end up taking that back to Home Depot. Here's my receipt. Oh, great. Anyways, I may end up taking that back. I mean, I need it. Um, Everything else in here, I think everything else in here, I think can be done with the uh, classic oak. Pretty much done. The stairs, as you can see, has the the red chestnut in it. So I'm gonna keep that like that. I think that'll be a nice offset. It'll be right in between the two pieces of the classic oak. I think that'll look nice. Um, yeah, and I got some more brushes, and that's it. That's it. All right. I guess I'll just edit this. I'm tired. I need a nap. I'm hurting. Um, oh, back is killing me. Knees are killing me. All right, Terry, focus. What were we doing? Um, so apologize that it's taking me so long to do it, but it, there's a lot of work involved in making this furniture. And I want to kind of show you guys the whole process. I don't want to just, you know, oh, here it is done. I want you to see how I did it. You can take my style and, and like it or not and adjust it to, to fit your style. Um, the idea is to help you guys because like I told you before, there's no there's no really good plans out there, no good designs. You kind of have to make it, well, I make it up as I go along. Anyways, that's the kind of creation I do. I like to do that kind of style. Just be creative. But um, you don't have to do it my way, you can do it your own way. But just to, you know, I want to show you the whole project. But it, that means that maybe it took me two days to build the shelf and I got to condense two days of work or three days into an hour video. So I'm cutting and pasting and, and trimming and editing and adding sound and things like that. Um, because I listen to music, you can't have that on YouTube, so I have to take the sound out. And then I have to speed the video up so that you're not sitting there staring at me look, measuring something, you know. Still measuring, still measuring. You know, that way uh, it goes along faster if I do that. Uh, so, um, all right guys, I'm beat, I'm sorry. This is not a very good introduction as my normal. I guess I need my dog out here, Kipper out here with me to help me, right? It's always better when he's out here. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Um, getting to the point where it's serious about subscribers, please subscribe. Please get your friends and family to subscribe. I'm at the point where I've got to have sponsors to finish it. Um, if you look in the camper, I'll show you a picture. I'm at the point where I've got to get the AC installed. I've got to get the windows installed. I've got to get um, the vents installed. I've got to get things that cost uh, lots of money. And, uh, you know, like I've told you before, I'm on a limited budget. I haven't hit that bestseller li yet, list yet. So uh, please subscribe and then I can, and I can seek out sponsors. And uh, that's a whole learning process in itself. I haven't even figured that out yet. But I know that I need more subscribers to ask for sponsors. I know audible.com uh, will sponsor me if I get more subscribers. So that's up to you guys. Anyways, I, I just really appreciate you guys' encouragement. Uh, you always have uh, great things to say to me and it um, means a lot. It means a lot. It, this is about, let's see, I started end of March, right? End of March? March, or middle of March? 
March, April, May, June, July, August. So that's six, seven, six or seven months of work. And you guys have just uh, chugged along with me. And I'm at that point where um, it's hard to keep going. I mean, it, it's at that part of the project where it takes discipline. Like, let's get out there. Let's keep working. Let's not stop. So you guys follow me is making a big difference. It's like we're doing it together. And uh, it, it, means, it means something to me. So thank you. And uh, God, God bless. God bless all of you. Seriously, I, I pray that uh, you have as many blessings as, as you need and, and want. So thank you. Love you guys. I will talk to you next week. And in the meantime, oh, I think, by the way, next week, I think I'm going to upload uh, my summer um, activities. Summer adventures, we'll call it. And camping, fishing, canoeing, um, a whole trip to Duluth. Um, uh, the family reunion we went to it'll it'll just be like a fun uh fun video of all the activities we did this summer since you know it's kind of the end of summer now and labor day's coming and back to school is you know it's here so all right guys i'm really good and good at this minnesota goodbye right this is this is perfect right? i have to say goodbye like eight times and i'm still talking <laughs> all right i love you guys be good to each other